Welcome. I'd like to give you a very short introduction on the basic founding principles of the center axis relock or the car shooting system. The field interview stance is used by police officers when they're conducting an interview on the street. Most officers will stand in a bladed type position which gives them the ability to block or to uh, check uh, some form of physical attack. In a bladed stance it simply allows me to move in any direction I want and bring my hands up to defend myself from this position or this position. What we're doing in the car system is teaching you to put a gun in your hand. So you're basically shooting from a collapsed, harmonious muscle placement position. This is not a natural act. This is a natural act. The four basic stances of the car system are simply the high position, which is working within a five foot zone, the combat high, which is, enables me to look for work, the extended position where the front sight is at my reading distance and the apogee position where you push the weapon out so the rear sight is where the front sight was. Another one of the differences between the car system and traditional stance is most people will shoot and close an eye when they're shooting on the range. This loses 60% of your vision. The car system shoots using the weapon hand and the left eye. If I have the weapon in my right hand, I'll use my left eye to sight. When I transition, I use the gun in my left hand, I'm using my right eye to sight. This actually works in natural harmony with the body. If you're right-handed, you're left brain dominant. If you're left-handed, you're right brain dominant as a basic. Most people are right-handed and right-eyed. 34% of people are right-handed and left-eye dominant. So immediately you begin to practice using a system using your non-dominant eye, you'll find you'll shoot very effectively. If I'm shooting from the other side, I'm using my physically stronger hand in conjunction with my dominant eye. For so military use, especially when the operators are using night vision, this is a very stable platform. From this position here, I can actually engage a target or bring the weapon down to this position, which is called the combat high position, which enables me to see additional threats in front of me. In this traditional stance, you tend to lose sight of everything below the barrel. In this position, it simply allows you to look for additional threats. The basic high position is here is a weapon retention platform, and it simply allows us to block to put in a strike if necessary, but it allows me to work in a very confined space, especially if I was sitting in a vehicle. Sitting in a vehicle, this will allow me to shoot out of the driver's side. Naturally, if I am shooting out of the driver's side, very quickly, I can come around to the passenger side. The scenario, in essence, is the passenger side, that is the driver's side. As you'll see from later clips, the car shooting system allows you to shoot up to seven rounds in under one second with a 40 caliber weapon. You can see this from the website. Most students on our classes obtain at least four rounds per second with either hand. So if you're one and a half seconds slower, it could be possible for a subject to shoot you at least four times. And that is something nobody wants. Most reloads are done in a very slow manner. The car system allows you to take, and this is an unloaded magazine, and another check so you can see that we're working with an unloaded weapon. The car system simply has to do the changes from this distance. We're here, and we do the changes here. You can see from the side how the weapon is reloaded at that speed. Even with my eyes closed, I can get the reloads in. In actual fact, working with my eyes closed, you can see that the reloads are actually faster. This is because the system is working in harmony with your body and your mind. So when you need to reload, you can get the reload in at that speed. Uh, we like to teach at the car shooting system that you'll never need a gun until you need it badly. If you have to reload, you really need it badly. The point of the Z-Scan is simply to allow you to acquire any additional threats because you will probably have developed tunnel vision. Tunnel vision is something that happens to you when you are in a gunfight. It is simply the brain's way of focusing in on the threat area. So everything over here and everything over here is generally not picked up by the operator under stress. Car shooting system will allow you to engage fast, but will allow you to disengage just as fast. 
and as said, our goal here at Sabre Tactical and at IPD Systems is to prevent you from being killed and to prevent you, unless absolutely necessary, to take a life. Remember, you're not shooting to kill, you're shooting to live.